Hi, I'm Sandal, and almost two years ago, after surviving the most difficult season of my life, I was inspired by a YouTuber, sold most of what I owned, and bought a Toyota Prius to move into. Well, that turned out to be the best decision I ever made. So thank you, Nikki Delventhal, for making that YouTube channel. And thank you all for joining me and Mercy Cat on our epic adventures. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss us. Thank you all for being here. So last week when I left off here waking up in Mount Shasta, little did I know what was about to unfold. Right after this, during my live stream, I would discover that there was a creepy stalker on TikTok who had been following me from Oregon and was now also in Mount Shasta. The next few hours that unfolded were a little frightening. However, I know that I'm always protected and directed on my journey. So everything unfolded exactly the way it was supposed to. I was refunded my money for the campground stay and I was able to get out of town and head to a hotel to safety for a few days. Do you hear how loud this hotel is out there? Beware. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. That's the hotel elevator. I mean, speaker, it's so loud. I love it. Just going for a little walk while I'm in the hotel, taking a break from social media. And look at that. <laughs> it's just in a little plaza. But I think it's cool. Just getting some steps in. I'm just, um, I've been in the hotel for a few days trying to get YouTube's done. <laughs> Again, getting another hotel. Um, I had some stuff happen that I'm not sure if I'm going to talk about or not. Maybe I'll fill you guys in at some other point, but <clears throat> I ended up leaving the area I was in and unexpected. The, the people refunded me unexpectedly and um, so I had to leave kind of like last minute at night and didn't know where I was going to go and I had a YouTube to get done. So I ended up getting another hotel, which I'm in for a few days. And then instead of continuing my journey north, which is the way I was headed, we're going back towards Bridgeport. Let me tell you how obsessed I am with these shoes. Hey, Mers. This is my one, two, three, fourth pair. They come in this cool little bag that I keep repurposing for things in my car. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of heavy. So this cool little bubble part, I wear it out. But before it wears out, these shoes are the most amazing feeling things I've ever had. And the coolest part about them is, is like they're like great shower shoes because they don't slip in the shower. But they also, they have this texture in the pad that you don't slip in there either. Like your feet don't go running through them when you're coming out of the shower or from the camp going to your tent. You know what I'm saying? So that's the really cool part about it. And uh, well, that's my favorite part about them or one of the favorite parts about them. <laughs> They're in my Amazon link if you want some. They're amazing. Oh my God. The pep is back in my step. Yes, yeah, sorry, Mercy. Oh my goodness. I feel like I can run in these things. I love these shoes. I love these shoes. I'm so glad I got them back. Oh my gosh. I am happy again. Happy again. I'm happy again, I can happier. They're just shoes, Sandal, and you're not even getting paid for this. I really like them, they're like $20. I gotta get to work. You know, honestly, what I'm doing right now? Procrastinating. I'm supposed to be making another, I just, I just launched another YouTube yesterday, and I'm supposed to be making another one today, and yesterday that I didn't do. So I'm supposed to be doing it and I gotta buckle down and do the work. Stop talking, would you stop talking to me? Would you stop talking to me? So it's like 
I don't know, 6 p.m. or something. And I'm out walking again because I'm trying to make sure to get, I'm not trying, I am getting my steps in. I have to get 5,000 steps a day and I've been doing good. So I'm out here doing some more steps because I had some this morning, but I was only like maybe 2,500, 3,000 steps in for the day. So gotta get some more, but I'm editing. So I'm going back up to the room here in just a minute, but I'm probably, before I go to bed tonight, just letting you know, they close this at 10 o'clock. Hmm. I'm coming down here tonight. I'm coming down in like eight o'clock. Doing it. Check out this walk at the hotel, like. Bet you can't guess who's going to the pool. Yeah, 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 you guessed it. We're going to the pool. And I'm excited. It's almost 9.30, the pool closes at 10. But that's enough time that we can get some swimming. So, we have a change of plans. I was walking over to the pool and there's like five kids in there and they were like, oh no. We don't have the pool to ourselves anymore. I don't have the heart to take it from them because I was just gonna do a few laps. They're playing like fun kid games, so I'm just gonna let them play. And um, I'm still here for another night, so I'll come back tomorrow and I'll just sit over here and enjoy my kombucha and um, let the kids play. I'll go back to work upstairs because I need to be working anyway. Did you notice that moon? It's full tomorrow night. It's like pretty much full. It's beautiful. Wow. I'll probably fall asleep. I almost always fall asleep in the bathtub. What about you? <laughs> All right, give me some privacy, would you? Best hotel ever. 
sitting here looking at my phone, trying to work. Hey. Hey, baby. I can't see you. You, you make a really good door. You make a really good door. Don't attack me. She doesn't like it when I talk. Are you the ruler of my voice? Mm. Mm. I love you so much. Now can I get back to work, please? Can I get back to work, please? <coughs> you look evil. You look mean, kid. Can we work? Can mommy work? No, I don't know. Don't you smack me on international television. Don't you smack me on international television. this table to the desk so we have a place to cook. We are about to cut up a cabbage, mushrooms that are frozen, an onion, and some also have frozen bell peppers, but it's all right. This right here, though, my goodness. So good. We are cooking um, cabbage, mushrooms, peppers, onion, putting vodka sauce on it, and um, pasta. Cook it, putting it over pasta. Yes, please. I'm so hungry. I've been putting um, information into a computer for like two days, three days, and I took one break of a day and like slept because I was up until all the crazy hours in the morning. I'm trying to get these episodes done for YouTube. So hopefully you guys enjoyed them when they came out. So I know this is after the fact now. You've already seen, I just did the, the episodes I was just working on were the, um, the Confusion Hill episode is the one I put out the first day I got here. And then I just finished working on the, um, so make sure I'm going to link this. If I can figure out how to do this, I'm going to link this here somewhere. So go watch the Confusion Hill episode and then the episode after that, which was the Avenue of the Giants. So I'm going to put this up there too. So go watch both of those, um, that's if you have it, if you're new here, you know, if you're new here, um, because that's what I was just working on, uh, to get aired. But by, by the time this is out, yeah, those were out like a month ago or longer. So yeah, welcome. Welcome. If you're new here, thank you for being here. Um, I appreciate all the new people, uh, whether you came from TikTok or whether you didn't, um, I, for those of you that don't know, I'm a live streamer on TikTok. So I've been on TikTok for, why am I having such problems with this onion? And now I'm about to start crying. It's emotional over here when we cook. What the freak? I've never in my life like peeled an onion like piece by piece like this. It's like, no, I don't want any piece to get wasted. So um, yeah, every single day of my life, I live stream on TikTok. I've actually been off this week though. I've taken a from Monday through, I'll go back live tomorrow, Friday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a four day vacation from live streaming. And let me tell you, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, don't get me wrong. I've missed, I've absolutely, I got myself like pinned in here. I've absolutely missed my people, you know, the people that I see every single day when I'm live. Um, but being live every single day is, I mean, it can get emotionally like overwhelming. I feel like not overwhelming, but I don't get overwhelmed. But when I go back, 
I'm gonna have a sense of renewal because I've been off for days and that's what I need. And that's part of the reason why the YouTube, well, part of the reason the YouTube was created was because it was just always my life since YouTube came out 20 years ago or whatever, that was the plan. I had to have a YouTube. But another part of it is as much as I'm a professional live streamer and I'm sure that will continue over into my YouTube career, it already has. I also, I like to be able to put up this long form content so that I get breaks. I get breaks. It gives me a break from being in front of real time reaction people. I can still put up content that people can watch and see my journey, but I'm not necessarily in real time, which is amazing to me. Just saying. I feel like I need a knife sharpener. All right, Mr. Onion, you're going to go in there. I'm going to plug up. This is my little cooking dish. I'm going to plug this up and start cooking the onion so that it can be so we got a lot of things to saute over here. So, yes, please. We're going to saute in water instead of using any oil. Just cut down on the amount of oils used. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on all the way over here. for a minute. Now we are going to, let's cut some peppers. You know, I didn't bring up here. I thought I had my plate, but I don't have anything to cook. To put the cooked veggies in when I go to cook the cabbage. <sighs> this is kind of like a version. I was craving like a spaghetti concept kind of what we're working with, but nowhere near it. Don't come after me, Italians. It's just like a red sauce, some stuff, and some pasta. You know what I mean? Us Americans call anything like that spaghetti. <laughs> we're gonna run downstairs and go see if the receptionist can give us some butter and some um, paper plates. Let's go see. We're on a mission. I need something to put the um, cooked innards. <laughs> the stuff that the sauce is gonna go on so the the peppers, the onions, the mushrooms, the cabbage. I don't cook them all at the same time. There's not enough room to cook them all at the same time. They have to cook down. So then I put the sauce all on them. But I need some butter to cook the mushrooms in because I forgot I didn't have any. So we're gonna see if they have some. six of them or something yeah, and like a paper plate yeah i'll grab it right here for you you're amazing thank you perfect time to get some tea let's see how much we get let's get it's always 
these to a green tea and let's mix it with a English tea time sounds good. I like to mix my teas and have more than one. And I always like to mix with green. Perfect. Thank you so much. Spore. My shoes are squeakiest. These are brand new. I just opened them. Just took them. Just put them on for the first time today. They're squeaking just like the old ones did. Maybe it's me because my other shoes are squeaking too. What does it mean you have a squeaky foot problem? Sweat? Is it sweat? No, but for real. Is it? Have I got sweaty feet? Let's not and say we did. Or let's did and say we I guess I just do. I forgot to show me cooking the purple cabbage. So the purple cabbage is in there. Now we're about to do the mushrooms. summer for a few minutes but oh my god oh my god oh oh uh-uh uh-uh oh my god oh oh y'all I'm, I'm gonna need you to call your mama I'm gonna need you to call your mama. I'm gonna need you to call her real quick. Uh oh, t get her on the phone. Get her, ma mama, mama. I don't have one to call. Mama, oh my gosh, mama, this was an accident. And you should taste this, mama. Oh my God, you'd be so proud. You'd be so proud. Y'all, I can't stop tasting it. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. What'd your mama say? What'd your mama say? <laughs> oh, so this is for like tomorrow, or the next day, or both, or one, or. To salt that pasta water. Take a look at that. Oh my god. Oof. Let's just take one more bite. Let's just take one more bite. Just one more. Mm. I can't. I can't. All right, kids. Let's go with intermission while we wait on the pasta to boil. You with me? All right, here we go. All right, in order to hula hoop, what you're going to do is you're going to take the hula hoop and you're going to push it out from one side to the other and then you're gonna hold on let's try that again you'll take the hula hoop starting on one side and then you're going to sway your hips back and forth opposite sides as the hula hoop is gonna go around you does this make sense okay all right all right we take a nose good class okay so we're gonna start over here and then we're gonna go yes no all right, kids, clearly Sandal has not hula hooped since she was 12. Since she was 12, we have 12-year-old Sandal teaching hula lessons. Oh, oh, that one was better. Oh, no, it wasn't. That was the couch helping. No assistance. Assistance not from the couch. Hey, come on, y'all. Can I get, can we get it like, can we get it like a, can we get like a, uh, can we get like a, can we get later? Come on! Feel free to assist in the comments. I'm gonna check the noodles. So, I'll let you in on a little secret. I haven't hula hooped since I was 12, not even a practice play play, not for play play, not for real real, not for no no. Um, <laughs> so I think we have some practicing to do. However, I saw that hula hoop for five dollars and was like, you know what, girl, we gonna have some fun. I told y'all a couple episodes back. Which one was it? Oh, Confusion Hill. I'll post it. I'll, I'll, I'll plug it if I can, like right here. I told y'all I couldn't stop playing, like everywhere, all the time. I keep buying toys. <laughs> Maybe you should too, instead of judging me. <laughs> Noodles are nowhere near being, water's nowhere near boiling, so. What, you want this? You want this? You want this? Oh, you got it. Good girl, good girl. There's a chair in my way, you know you had no, you stand nothing against me. You know you ain't got nothing on how to move your mama, your mama. She's like, why you gotta yell, mom? You're so loud. Hurt my ears while we had this thing.
good girl. Good girl. Good girl, you got birdie. Too. Okay, since I made all that pasta, I mean all the sauce, tonight I'll make like two of these for my dish. And then like tomorrow night, wherever I am, all I'll have to do is boil water and make these and then put the um sauce on top of it. Papardelle. I never made this kind of pro this kind of pasta before. But I was looking for something different. Might look good. All right, maybe more than two. These things are pretty small. Let's cook for four minutes. All right. I'm done pasta. Yes. All right, so we have pasta. Oh, yes, sis. Yes. Oh my God, that is a meal. Let me go get some Parmesan cheese. I just opened my fridge and saw I had some wine in there. This might be wine worthy. Let's get a little bit of grated Parmesan. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm pretty excited, kids. There you have it. Here we go. Mm. Mushroom first bite.
Mm. Listen to me right now when I tell you. While this pasta is great, adds more texture, it's honestly good without it. Mmm. Mm. Look at that pasta, though. All them fat noodles. So just keeping it 100. I have not eaten since oatmeal this morning. I was hungry. Starting to get nauseous doing the YouTube. Did you eat your meal? Did you eat? Did you eat? In case you didn't know, I am known as the best, the best chair dancer on TikTok. So, it's kind of a big deal. How'd this get so good? Check out this full moon in this walk tonight to get my steps in. Like, how blessed am I? Squeaky shoes and all. There's a reason this is a fat spider. Because it's not a stupid spider. It puts its work in before this light comes on. So that it has its work cut out for it. Look at all that work. But look at the size. I don't know if you can see it, but the derriere on that spider ain't small. Nice work, lady. It is time for another bubble bath. What's up? Oh, I'm gonna show you something. Oh, I'm gonna spare you guys. I'm having to see this again. But just know if I have a hotel and there's a clean bathtub, every single night that I'm there, I'm in it because it's glorious. And this is glorious. Frankincense and myrrh. I'm so tired. I got, um, so since I've been in this hotel, I got two and a half YouTubes done. Um, I'm gonna do my best to get as much of this one completed before I leave here. Cause I'd like to have three done before I leave. Really, truly. <gasps> hey, mommy, cat. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Tell me that doesn't look glorious. I know it does. <laughs> so, Merz, what are you doing? Merz, Merz, what are you doing? That has a ton of history and just this really <laughs> different feel to Guess it. Guess what time it is? Nikki time. So I finally just got done uh, with my one, two, three YouTubes. I've been in this hotel where I'm getting three YouTubes done. And I went to go start putting the, loading the videos into CapCut to start editing for the fourth video. 
and it was it's not cooperating so it says no no more no more no more we're done we're going swimming you've extended the hotel room twice maybe even three times we're going swimming i don't really understand how people do this like more than one episode per week like i feel like i have a full-time job again i know i'll get i get faster but the learning curve is nuts but i'm putting my suit on and i'm gonna go swimming and uh we leave here tomorrow here we go again with this much awaited trip to the pool here i come for you pool goodness look what I have to myself and they just made cookies so yes I'm eating a cookie just one and a um, cup of coffee at 6 p.m. this is a total exception all the way around but we're doing it and then we're gonna swim that's fresh coffee too Oh my god. This John just came out the oven. You can do it, Sandal. You can only eat one. Oh, look at that. The, the chocolate's melted. Can you see it? Oh my god. No way. I didn't even know that. Oh my God. I just saw cookies and was like, oh, let me grab a cookie. We just finished all two episodes of YouTube. Hi. So good. Oh my god, it's homemade and it's fresh. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know I'm going to get another one. I'm definitely going to get another one. There's no way. I'm not, not eating another one of these. Oh my god. But this is perfect because I wasn't planning on having dinner. <laughs> That's nice. Being that I'm not at Vegas or anything. I'm gonna go do some laundry. The pool was nice. I've really enjoyed, I've really enjoyed this upgraded suite. They upgraded me. I can't remember why. Oh, the regular room wasn't clean when I got here. So I got a free upgrade. Then I got more mo more money off each night because there's no shades. So I had to sleep with the sun, but I got more money off each night. Have a good night.
right, we got the luggage cart. We're traveling, Bertie Cat. Oops, there's a wall there. Oops. Time to go. Here we go. Come on, work with me. Why are we being funny, luggage cart? Do we have locking brakes? What's going on? Why are we not wanting to go? I'm a little confused what's happening right now. Oh shoot, it's my, my handle is around the wheel. And now I gotta get it off because I can't turn, the car won't turn. And I don't, I don't know how to get it off. <sighs> Let's try this again. Now I'm all sweaty after that shower. That's nice. But we got the wheel fixed. Okay, here we go. We're moving. We are moving, folks. We're moving, moving, moving. On. Keep that luggage moving. On. Man, that was difficult. I didn't know what I was gonna do. Thank you. It's okay, Mercy Cat. It is okay. <laughs> My gosh. What you doing, Mercy Cat? You getting there? You getting there? It's hot out there, huh? little tidbit of information in case you didn't know cats prefer the temperature between 80 and 100 degrees it's like 90 something out there right now so just so you know cats prefer it hot so oftentimes you might think your cat's cold or hot but they're not they're not they're enjoying themselves that's why they go sit like and go in dryers and sit underneath big appliances and stuff anyways um we just loaded the car we are loaded ready to go um, here we go. Where we stop? Nobody knows. You ready to go, Mercy Cat? You ready to go? You gotta go back to the back. You, what you matter? What the matter? Go to the back? Go to the back. Go ahead. Go get in your spot. Mars. I love you. Me. <laughs> Say let's go. There's your spot. I was waiting. She loves that spot.